then proceed to assist them with exiting the capsule. And we see the hatch is now open. Hatch being opened at 12.59 p.m. Pacific. Again, the recovery team. SpaceX Dragon for the commander. Go for SpaceX. Here we have our first view of yeah, Mike, Doug Hurley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be uh, a small part of this whole effort to get uh, a company, people to and from the space station. They can celebrate with each other. See you soon. Uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. There on your screen, we saw uh, NASA astronaut Doug Hurley egressing or exiting from the capsule. Might have been hard to see on your screen there, but. Um, we got a thumbs up indicating that uh, things are going well. ПТО, командир обслуживания, потом, так, кого мы сейчас, так, о, Кох, спасибо, Кох, эвакуировано. Да, и вот мы видим, с левой стороны это представитель энергии, справа это представитель ЦПК, Центр подготовки космонавтов, выживальщики. И вот слева это как раз начальник команды технического обслуживания, Что это РКХ энергия. Делают? Что они сейчас делают? Они сейчас эвакуируют как раз борт инженера, 2, то есть это с правого кресла, и мы видим, что аппарат стал вертикально, очень хорошо, то есть, как мы уже говорили при предыдущем сеансе, что было комфортно, спрашивают его, поздравляют. Рекордсменка, да? Да, рекордсменка, молодец. Первый, это первый ряд 140, а давление не больше 180, и нижняя не больше 100. Сеньор так, Прометан появился. Да, Лука Прометана, слава богу, достали. Сейчас проедется по горке. Как раз зима и горка. Ну, Здорово. это все, Россия, пожалуйста, да. все свои красы. Да, молодец. Сам Саныч что-то сообщает, важно. Да, он, наверное, скорее всего, рассказывает про укладки, потому что помимо того, что эвакуируется экипаж, после этого залаз, залазит в аппарат, занимает места. two months and some 24 million miles, the scientific journey had ended. They were home, back in Earth's gravitational pole. The objective feeling, I think, was uh, one where uh, your legs feel strong enough and it doesn't feel like it's too heavy to move your body around. But uh, I think your lateral balance is sort of funny. It's, we didn't seem to have much problem with uh, wanting to pitch forward or backwards. It was mostly the sideways uh, correction. It would take a couple of days for the crew to regain their steadiness, a normal part of the readaptive process. Many hours of medical tests would follow in which all data would be within normal limits. Long-term medical effects would take several weeks to analyze. But for now, they felt well. Their spirits were high, and they looked forward to home and family.
And so now we're just standing by for our spacecraft commander, Doug Hurley, to make his way out into the fresh air for the first time in 64 days. All right, so they're getting set up and we should see spacecraft commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule. And it looks like we've got him out. We've got him seated. And walk they did with Conrad just a hair shaky, White somewhat more so, and Kerwin himself seemingly having the most trouble. After a quick exam, doctors on the carrier declared all three in better condition than they expected. Kerwin and White both suffered from dizziness and lightheadedness, with White's blood pressure low at first. But all three seem basically all right. They'll remain aboard the carrier until Sunday morning when it docks in San Diego. All three of the astronauts, Kerwin, White, and Conrad, were feeling a bit woozy. They wobbled as they walked along the red carpet. Immediately, they were led to a laboratory, no speech, to begin a series of intensive examinations. After a quick check, one space agency doctor reported they looked quite good, far better than I had personally suspected. When Conrad gets home on Sunday, a new member of the family to greet him, a new puppy, a gift from his mother-in-law, the pup's name, Splashdown. Morton Dean, CBS News, New York. And there's a Canadian spaceflight participant, Guy La Liberté, uh, being attended to by uh, flight surgeon uh, Richard Jennings. Commentator break, we had... Uh, a little under three hours. Uh, we'll proceed shortly after that. Being carried uh, by uh, fellow uh, personnel from uh, the United Arab Emirates. The spacecraft uh, following uh, hatch opening after the landing. You step away. I'm sorry, receiving a bouquet of roses uh, on the ground and uh, as mentioned from the landing. All three of the astronauts, Kerwin, White, and Conrad, were feeling a bit woozy. They wobbled as they walked along the red carpet. 